Breaking news now, Spain is to start suspending Catalonia's autonomy on Saturday after its leader threatened to declare independence. Let's talk to our correspondent Tim Wilcox, who is in Barcelona. Tim, fill our audience in. OK, uh, Victoria, it was described as the nuclear option and a lot of people didn't think that Madrid would do so. But in the last half an hour, the Spanish government has invoked Article 155. Now, this is a, an article, uh, part of the Constitution of 1978. It's never been used before, but effectively it is restoring home rule, direct rule to Madrid for Catalonia, uh, one of 17 autonomous regions uh, here in Spain. It is a huge deal. Uh, it is a, it is a, it's a, a decision which will be very provocative as well, but Madrid says it has no option. Just to remind you uh, what happened on October the 1st here, there was a referendum held by the separatist movement. Uh, they said that of the people who voted there, 90% voted in favour of leaving Spain on the turnout of 43%. The Spanish the Spanish government, though, at the time said, hang on a minute, you guys can't hold a referendum. Uh, that is unconstitutional. That referendum is illegal. They sent in national police and Guardia de Seville. There were scenes of violence. People were being pulled out of polling stations by their hair. Uh, 800 people reportedly uh, were injured. Ever since then, there's been move and counter move between the Catalan president, a man called Carlos Puigdemont, and the Spanish Prime Minister, Mariano Rajoy. Uh, there was a meeting in Parliament a few days ago when he declared independence for this country. Illegal, said Spain, uh, but then immediately suspended it for dialogue. Today was a final deadline, 10 o'clock local time this morning, where the Spanish government asked him to say, revoke that decision for independence. He said no. Uh, this is repressive. If there's no dialogue, we will vote on that. So we are now, for the first time, since 1978 in the biggest constitutional crisis for this country since the failed coup attempt back in the 1981 we are now in a position where Madrid has imposed direct rule on Catalonia on Saturday the Spanish Prime Minister and the cabinet will meet to decide exactly what they will do it will mean for example the local police here the Mossos Esquadra uh, being taken over by the national police all the ministries as well it's a big moment for Spain could it lead to unrest, the, the like of which we saw around voting in the referendum? Well, fortunately for this area of Spain, unlike, for example, the Basque region, there is no history of violent demonstration here. Uh, and, and I think what's also worth pointing out, Victoria, is that this region is completely divided about whether they want to separate from Spain or not. So when you see those demonstrations for the separatists, hundreds of thousands of people, I said we want to leave Spain. A few days later, you get three, four, five hundred thousand people, the silent majority, they say, uh, we want to stay part of Spain. So I don't think we're going to see uh, any violence, but it's how Madrid responds to this. If there are large street protests, if, for example, they send the national police and the Guardia Civil in and the tactics are heavy handed, that is where you might see some outbreak of violence. But as I say, historically, this region, despite the generations of fighting for independence. They've never really had an armed wing uh, like they had in the uh, Pais Basco uh, with ESSA. Thank you very much. Tim Wilcox reporting.